So I put up a poll a couple of days ago asking what word you would want me to make a song off of. The majority ruled by a long shot. So today I'm going to be making a song out of the word hoodwink. As of this moment, I have not written anything for it, so it might be weird, it might be cool, it'll probably nosedive. But hey, you never know what the dish is gonna be like until you taste it. Except for spinach. That stuff's disgusting. Now apparently the definition of hoodwink is to deceive or trick someone. When I was little, I constantly saw this ad at the movies uh, for the movie called Hoodwinked. It's an older animated film that sort of takes folk characters and uh, twists their story and it just sort of makes a comedy out of the whole thing. But the premise of the characters were that they were the exact opposite of what they seemed to be in the folktale. So a couple of real life examples of this word would be, you thought Suicide Squad was gonna be a good movie? Haha, <laughs> hoodwinked. You thought No Man's Sky was gonna be a good game? Achievement unlocked, hoodwinked. T-Series thought they could overthrow PewDiePie? <laughs> hoodwinked. You thought Diablo on mobile was gonna be a good, no, that, nobody thought that was gonna be a good game, Never mind. So let's get started. So for the chord progression, I think I'm going to be a little bit more complicated than last time, you know? Maybe have some 7th chords, uh, maybe some 13th chords, haha, <laughs> hoodwinked. No 9th chords for me today, my brain is just about as dead as a tadpole in Arizona. As a matter of fact, boom, hoodwinked number 2. The chord progression isn't even going to be my own, I'm just going to sew together a bunch of songs. Some call it lazy, others call it making lemonade out of banana peels. But just to have that Thanos balance, I'll make the chorus on my own. Is fitted by Alan Walker, you know, Africa by Toto, and yours truly, uh, Despacito. this entire thing is going to be adding lyrics, replacing lyrics of the current song. Because at the moment, I'm using Despacito and Africa by Toto as the melody for my verses. I think I'm going to try to keep the lyrics a little bit more serious than last time. I know I put a lot of memes in my other song, but I'm, I'm definitely going to try to capture the mood a little bit more this time. It's what I would say if I ate cereal out of a coffee mug. Ah, ah, see, hoodwink number two. Nah, see hoodwink number three. You know memes are gonna be in this. It's a lifestyle, you can't escape it. We got Duolingo, T-Series not knowing what defamation means. I wanna put something about Tyler One and his animal impressions. Of course, the black hole discovery, which actually is really cool. We have uh, the T, and a meme that's sort of been dwarfed as of recently by the rest of the memes going on right now. Uh, Tuxedo Winnie the Pooh, I really like it. It's like an evolution of the IQ meme. I think it should also have something about Article 13. You can never spread enough awareness. Now the key to inserting memes into lyrics and actually having them have meaning is making sure that they're all analogies. I mean, the purpose of a meme is to express a point, right? You have to use that parallel and put it with something that would otherwise be serious. For example, I wrote, you had me hoodwinked. I thought you were the Winnie the Pooh with the tux, but I was gravely wrong. You got ulterior motives, like T-Series taking down Pewd's songs. Bellissimo. If this person had the narrators deceived, they would think that they were like, great, which is like Winnie the Pooh with the tux. That is sophisticated, right? And the ulterior motives with T-Series doesn't even need an explanation. Winked 
got off my mind I was telling Tyler once impressions of animal kind Suck me into a black hole But you never told me I was gonna have a bad time You got me hoodwinked out of my mind It wasn't defamation but you still made me cry Keep my feelings out of the window But please don't do that tonight